What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trout Fish Aquatics. Today I'm here in the fish room with my wife Mariah and our friend Mina from the Mina Talks YouTube channel. Um, go ahead and check her videos out if you want to do that. And uh, today we're just doing a little bit of a, what's it called? A story time. Story time. So basically, if you watched the last video that went up, um, at the end I talked about going and getting a 265 gallon aquarium. So this is just the story of going to get that tank. Um, so. A couple weeks ago I went and did a fish store tour down at One Fish Two Fish and the store owner told me that there was a gentleman that was getting rid of a 265 gallon aquarium and that I could have it for free as long as I went and moved it out of his house. So I absolutely jumped all over that and I really wanted that tank. So yesterday we had the opportunity to go down and pick it up. So we drove down to this guy's house, we pulled in and we're in the middle of nowhere and this house is really nice. So. We walk up to his door and we walk inside and as soon as we walk into the house it, the tank was right there and the first thing I noticed is that it was not a 265 gallon aquarium. It was bigger. Which is not a bad thing except for we had only planned on a 265 gallon aquarium which is about almost 100 pounds lighter and we were short people. so. Being that we only planned it being a 265 gallon aquarium, they weigh about 400 pounds. Um, I had brought along, uh, obviously myself, my wife, Mina, and my buddy James. And myself and James had moved the 150 gallon tank that's right here behind Mina. Mm -hmm. um, a couple weeks ago, that one weighs just shy of 400 pounds, so I figured the two of us would be able to do it with the assistance of these guys, and um, it wouldn't be an issue. Um, but that was definitely not the case considering this tank was an additional 100 pounds on top of that. Um, and when we showed up it still had all the sand and gravel in it, probably about 200 pounds of that. Uh, the sump was still hooked up, it still had water in the weirs and the overflows. Um, so there was definitely a lot more work that had to get done to this than I was originally planning on doing. Um, but being the fact that it was a 300 double deep, I really didn't care. She cared, she was upset. Um, There's nowhere to put it. Okay, that's the issue right now. Unless he takes these down, there's nowhere to put this bush tank. I'm working on that. <laughs> these aren't going anywhere. Um, we were there for three hours, weren't we? Yeah, that yeah. was just getting it ready. We were supposed to go there and pick it up. No, we had to go there and shovel the sand out, which I recorded because I was irritated. Yeah, so and I'll play that right here. And um, yeah, so we took out about 200 pounds of sand and then we had to drain out the overflows and everything. So all in all, just to get this tank ready to be able to move it out of this guy's house, took about two and a half to three hours. Can I say something really quick? Yeah. The corners, is that the sump? Is that what that's called? No, those are filled with water? overflows. They overflows. Called weirs. The guy said that there was no more water in there, and I should have looked, but it was too tall. So we took the tank and we tilted it to like pick it up and dump it or whatever, and I got soaked. I had water all down my hoodie, my pant leg, and then my, my one shoe, I had brand new shoes, got soaked, and it was all, was it black, was it black beard algae, or it was black algae? No, it was it disgusting. Was just, yeah, it was just, well, it's the overflow. They get dirty, they don't really get yeah. clean that much because it's out of sight, out of mind. So but it made all the, the fish whole... poop that was in the water and everything yeah. in there, it was all brown and Me. she got coated <laughs> and I felt pretty bad about that. But... but that made the whole tank so wet and the floor wet. It was hardwood floor. So when we picked this bad boy up, it was slippery. Yeah. Now, the thing about the 300 Double Deep Aquarium, right, the dimensions on it are six feet long, three feet front to back and 27 inches tall. Now, your average door is only about 30 inches, so this tank is six inches wider. So the only way we can get this tank out of this guy's house is by flipping it on its side, which is why she got soaking wet, and carrying it out that way. Now, the one thing that I really wasn't thinking about until we had picked this thing up was that the way this tank is built, it's all half inch glass, except for the bottom was three quarter inch glass. And when you flip a tank on its side, 
that means the bottom plate is here and the top openness is here. So that means the, this side of the aquarium, when you're trying to carry it, is about 200 pounds heavier than this side. <laughs> that so, was Mina's side. <laughs> that was my side. <laughs> Mina got that side. I had a hold of the one end. James and Mariah had a hold of the other end. And Mina was originally on my end. <laughs> but I had her go over in the middle to help hold the glass up because that side was just ridiculously heavy. Um, so we get it picked up, and I thought we were. Gonna it was. Be. <laughs> uh, it seemed like it was good, right? So we start walking out of this guy's room. Um, it was just in his living room, and we had to make a. If the guy's living room was here, we had to come down and over to get out his front door and trying to get past the stand. Now, mind you, if you've never seen a 300 Double Deep, this tank is absolutely enormous. Um, it's two of these 150s, just front and back together. It's huge. <clears throat> and we had it picked up and we're trying to make the corner, but the stand's in the way, so I'm trying to back myself into a corner as tight as I can get and get over so that these guys can make the swing so we can get out the doorway of this room. And meanwhile, <laughs> She's pinned up against the wall, getting crushed against the wall by you this 500 gallon tank. <laughs> you didn't say anything, and James is like, oh god, we're crushing Mina! And yeah. Mina's face is like this I'm against the wall. I'm literally like, my head like is like about to burst open, I'm getting crushed She's against like the wall. She's like crushed against the wall, yeah. and James is like, oh, oh Mina! And he's trying to pull her to the side, and as he pulls it to the side, I'm like falling over the tank stand, like, no, 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 it's behind my knees. Yeah, so this thing, it was not going good in the beginning, so... We get Mina out of death's way, and <laughs> we get the tank spun so that we can get it out of that room. She gets a hold of the tank again, and mm -hmm. everything seems like it's going good. We get it lined up in front of the door, and I take a step backwards out the door, mm -hmm. and these guys are coming forward. Now the problem is, these doors are only 32 inches, 30 inches, somewhere in that range, and Mina's she not can't make it. get through the door with the size of this tank because there's only a couple inches. So she ends up letting go, which puts more load on me and Mariah and James, mm -hmm. and I'm okay. I felt They're the, struggling. <laughs> I felt the tank shift because she let it go, Yeah. and he had the glass side in his left hand, and the whole tank went like this, and I was trying to grab it. Yeah. Yeah. And a Meanwhile, lot of things happened at once. It's very hard to communicate because I'm outside of the house mm -hmm. and these guys are inside and I can't see what's going on. Yeah, so he just has um, no idea. So I have no idea what's going on. So I'm just slowly working my way backwards. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately with the design of this guy's house is the tank is six feet long and there's mm -hmm. one step six feet away from the front door. So as they are just about to exit the doorway, um, I take a step down and the tank's weight shifts all to me, which in turn pulls the tank out of the doorway before these guys were ready. So... I I was right there and I wanted to say wait, or I think I did say wait, because I was going to move my hand under the tank, I had it on the side, and my knuckles just barely hit like an inch, not even, on his the threshold of his screen door. And when you stepped out and you pulled it, it pulled, my hands hit the door and it pulled right out of my hands. And then all the weight shifted to James. And poor James yeah, and didn't even have James, a chance. James isn't a very large guy by any means. He's probably about, He's about my your size. size. Yeah. Um, so when James took the weight of he only this had one corner. aquarium, he only had the one corner. Mm -hmm. And the whole tank ended up flipping because there was nobody supporting all the extra weight. And <clears throat> poor James got hit in the head. He, he oh had red gosh. marks all the way up his face, up across his forehead. His forehead was bleeding because the corner hit him there. It was bleeding on each part. For um, a bit. Yeah, it, it came down, hit him in the leg, messed up his arm a little bit, and I'm like. When it tilted, it came down, and the corner slammed into my knee. But I didn't notice because when I looked up, all I saw was the corner, the other corner, hit James in the face, and it went so fast because it hit him here, all the way across, and he had a mark here, 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 and the way his head tilted, I was like, oh god, he's dead, <laughs> like. And the tank went so fast, I knew it was going to like fall and shatter. And I was so afraid that it clocked him in the temple, because I couldn't see. In case it clocked him in the temple and he like fell into the glass, I was like ready to like, I wanted to catch and save him. Yeah. So uh, basically what happened is, all that happened on their end, I have no idea that any of this is even taking place until I hear, oh god, and then the whole <laughs> tank amazing. is just rotating. And... 
I don't know what's really happening, so my instinct is I'm not dropping this thing. <laughs> it's free! It's, it's um, free, no! Which was a giant mistake because I rode this thing all the way to the ground. <laughs> and Your little death grip on there. I don't understand how this happened, but when the tank hit the ground, it bounced. It bounced. Yeah, there was mulch. There was a... Uh, it hit the concrete first. Yeah. And it bounced off the concrete. And when it did, it ripped out of my hand. So at that point, I don't have control of it anymore. And it rolled over, and the concrete step that I had stepped off, it slid out onto that. And the corner of the concrete step blew the bottom panel out of this aquarium. So three-quarter inch glass all over this guy's yard in his driveway. And um, I was just sitting there looking at it like... I can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> because everything that I had been planning on doing, all the goldfish in this tank, even though it wasn't the 265, it was bigger, so that, that worked out better for me, but all of my intentions and thoughts of what I wanted to do with it were just gone, right? I was just like, it's a lost cause, there's no way I can fix this, um, because at that point in time, I'm like, the whole thing's broken. The entire thing's broken. There's no way that I'm going to be able to salvage any of this, and... Um, I think everybody just sat there and looked at it for like five minutes. I was afraid to look. I was still inside you when this all happened. I was afraid to go through that doorway and see what happened. I thought that like there was gonna be like little pieces of glass everywhere. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be so, much worse. So I just remember looking up and the guy that was giving me the tank was just looking at me through the doorway and I'm just like, You should have helped. No, no, no. <laughs> so we end up cleaning up all the glass. It wasn't bad. The glass pieces were huge because there's yeah, that certain it wasn't, glass. Yeah, it wasn't tempered glass. The bottom of this tank was plate glass, and all the other walls um, are tempered. So the only panel that broke was the base. So we had these huge So shards. now we've got this giant rectangular wall of glass, and then the bottom's blown out all over the place. <laughs> so we cleaned up everything that we could, and I was just like, you know what? I'm taking it home. I'm not leaving it in this guy's hands. It was mm -hmm. our fault anyway. So we loaded up the tank and the stand <laughs> into the truck. As we were loading it, more glass was falling out. Yeah, it was falling oh out and shattering gosh. right in front of the tailgate. And oh, I'm just, it, was it was a disaster. It was so stressful. It was a disaster. And get the whole thing in the truck, strap it down. I'm just like, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if it was me. It was me or James or even you. And we're like, let's go to Perkins. And we ate our feeling. Yeah, so we get the whole thing loaded up, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to Perkins. Like, we haven't eaten today. I'm just going to go eat my sorrows, because this is just, it's, this sucks. So, um, the whole reason, I, I completely skipped over this part. The whole reason this guy was even getting rid of this tank is because he had bought a 750-gallon aquarium. Um, which I do have like a little 10 second clip of this, so I'm going to play that right here in a second. But just for reference, the Paku that he has in here is 28 inches long, um, and the Red Tail Cat, if you can see it in the video, is 24. So I'll play that right here for you guys. And, um,. Yeah, so that's the whole reason he was even giving this thing away, so... I don't want those fish. No. <laughs> this, this tank's nowhere no. near big enough for those. You need, I, like, a lake. So... Yeah, we don't do that. Um, yeah, so we leave Perkins, we get home, and I'm just, like, put it in the garage, right? We get it unloaded, get it in the garage, which, mind you, not having that glass panel on the bottom, that tank is, like, 50% lighter. Um, way easier to unload, <laughs> so silver lining. And... <laughs> um, I didn't know what to do, so I ended up calling uh, the local glass company to see what a three-quarter inch thick panel of glass, six feet long, three feet wide costs, um, because all the other panes of glass were perfectly fine, so with the tank upside down, I could just remove everything, attach a new pane of glass, and it would pretty much be good to go. And um, come to find out, a new pane of glass is $650 um, with no thickness. ground edges. Yeah, that thickness, the right size, no ground edges, so the edges would still be sharp like it was just clean broke, and not drilled for the sump. So that's nothing done to it, 650 bucks. If I wanted the other stuff done, we're looking at over $1,000, and at that point, 
I would rather just buy a new 300 and I don't have the money for that, so that's not happening. So, <clears throat> I did find a way to fix this tank, and that's by using um, plywood and epoxy. You can actually make a plywood base by taking three quarter inch thick plywood, doubling it up with uh, wood glue, and then building a frame wall around the outside of it, and then using um, pond armor epoxy and uh, what is it? Fiberglass matting in all the seams, and then once that's on there and cured, you sand it a little bit, and then um, silicone adheres to it extremely well. So I can actually fix it doing a plywood base. Um, so I'm actually going to do a little video series on that when I get around to fixing it. I want to fix the 150 first because that was the first disaster. You want to fix me? Because <laughs> I've been having Sorry. a lot of tank disasters lately, so yeah. my luck has to change at some point. So, I still yeah. think you should put it in here. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I really don't. I wanted to put it in the living room, but I have to get under the house and put all the jacks and everything under there. So, I mean, I could do a little video on that too, of how to support a floor properly for a large tank. Lots of material. Um, yeah, so lots of video content. Oh, yeah. She's getting mad because she's enabling. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh. that's all going to be coming. All these videos of doing how to do the uh, the plywood base for aquariums. That way, if that ever happens to you guys and you can't afford a giant piece of glass, you can fix it with plywood. And it's really not that difficult from what I've been looking up, and it doesn't cost a whole lot either. So we're probably looking about $150 to $200 to do the plywood bottom, as opposed to $600 to $1,000 for a new piece of glass. And the plywood's actually stronger, and if you drop a big rock on it, it's not going to shatter. So that's a big bonus too. Yeah. So you can put larger decor and stuff in there. And uh, there's smoke coming out of her ears. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, I thought large decor, and I was like, it better not hurt my fancies. Yeah, so the 300 Double Deep is definitely going to be the home of all the fancy goldfish mm -hmm. because it's just a massive amount of water. And my favorite thing about it is all the front to back swimming room. So that's going to make that tank a lot different than what the normal tanks have are, where it's just uh, horizontal swimming space. You're going to have a lot of. Uh, not vertical, front to back throwing space as well for these guys. So it's going to be a lot different. Also because I said so. <laughs> I get no choice. Yeah. So All the beautiful goldfish. I mean, that was the plan anyway. All my pandas. So I don't think there was anything else I wanted to talk about, right? It was just that story. Yeah. Um, no, actually you're going to be going on your way to the garage to show them what it looks like. Oh, now. yeah, we yep. should so. do that. Well, that was the whole story, but i got to show yeah. you guys the tank now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So... We're going to go outside real quick. I'm going to show you guys what we're dealing with, and uh, that'll be the end of the video. So we'll head out to the garage and check out the tank. All right, so we're out in the garage. i got to be careful touching this thing. And I'm standing at the aquarium. And uh, just for size reference here, I want to show you guys the 125 I have back here on a desk. Um, six foot long, right? And... Uh, That'll be going set up eventually. And uh, right here is the 300 Double Deep. The camera does this thing no justice at all, right? The It's very hard to actually show you guys the massive, massive size of this thing, right? So for reference, there's a 55 gallon next to it, right? So <laughs> just off that, you can see three feet wide right the overflow is almost as wide as a 55 so it's absolutely enormous unfortunately you can see the giant pane of glass that is just absolutely destroyed right here and that was one of the most upsetting parts and probably one of the saddest moments I've ever had in the fish keeping hobby but luckily the plywood bottom is not that hard to build they're very strong and very durable and uh I'm excited to build that and show you guys how to do it. So, see if we can get another view over here of how big this thing. That board is not actually supporting that glass. I could take that out of there. It's there just because that was the epicenter of the glass breaking. So, I could actually pull this out of here and nothing's going to happen. But I have it sitting there just in case. Um, so, you can see six feet wide. And 
absolutely massive. Right, so this is going to be the new home for the fancy goldfish. And this will be coming soon. This is going to be the 1,000 subscriber video series. Because um, originally I was going to do the whole room and set up as the 1,000 subscriber video. And unfortunately now, because I have to do this, this is going to be the 1,000 subscriber video. And unless I get it done sooner, then it'll be up sooner. But we'll see how that goes. But for right now, thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.